Rina Sabalenka versus Jasmine Paolini is the second match in Purple Group, the WTA Finals of 2024. Both players are very impressive in their first matchup. Rina Sabalenka comes into this tournament as the number one in the world after winning the US Open and taking that spot back off Igor Fiontek going into this finals. Best result of the finals so far has been a final back in 2022, where she ended up losing to Garcia in the end. She also made a semi-final last year where she lost to Fiontek, so been a little bit unlucky the last couple of tournaments. But she's had a great season, 54 wins and 12 losses on the year, which includes four titles and two of those titles being Grand Slams, of course the Australian Open and the US Open, adding to her tally of Grand Slams. Her best win was against Igor Fiontek back in Cincinnati, where she kind of demolished her in that match. Her worst loss, however, was actually against Anissa Moba in Toronto just before she went on that run in Cincinnati. So she had her best win and her worst loss within the same couple of weeks. Her form has been great. She's coming in here with a winning streak after winning in Wuhan for a third consecutive time. Pelini entered the tournament as a number four in the world, which is a career high ranking for her after an awesome season. This will be her first time playing the WTA Finals in the singles. She's also playing in the doubles as well. And she's the only player in the eight that is having to play doubles and singles this time around. Her record this year, 39 wins and 18 losses, which included two Grand Slam Finals. But she's only won the one title. Of course, that was in Dubai to start the season. And that really drew everyone's attention to her. And then, of course, after that, playing well on clay and grass. So she's had a really, really good season and probably should get more than one title to prove that. Her best win was against Rabakina at Roland Garros. Very, very impressive win there. Her worst loss, however, was against Sharif in the second round of Rome just before she went on that French Open run. So going into that French Open, she actually didn't have much form. She lost to Sharif before going on that run in Roland Garros. Her form lately, though, hasn't been super great. She's had a couple of strange losses here and there, but we know how tenacious she is and how much she's going to fight for every point against the players in her group. These two have played four times a four with it split down the middle 2-2. Two -two. However, they haven't played for over a year with their last match being in Beijing last year, Sabalenka getting the win. And of course, this year, Paolini's been so much better than previous seasons, so it's so hard to judge whether or not the last couple of matches have actually meant anything in this rivalry. Paolini's gonna win this one. She needs to defend like crazy. We saw her do really well against Rabakina defensively, especially on an indoor fast court that would favor Rabakina. She has to do that and more against Sabalenka because, of course, Sabalenka is a lot more consistent and a lot better form than Rabakina has been lately. If Sabalenka's gonna win this one, she needs to be aggressive like she was against Jung and use her serve to advantage as well. She's gonna have to also probably hit more shots than she's used to hitting against most players because Paolini is so good defensively and can be really frustrating. Really fun matchup to see how Paolini is going to be against the world number one. I'd have to go with Sabalenka in straight sets. I reckon it's going to be close, but Sabalenka is just a different level of opponent compared to Rabakina and pretty much everybody else that Paolini has had to play in 2024. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.